Honestly, it's Ash with confidence. That's all you got to do. Literally. It's Ash with confidence. Whatever it is, believe it is the best card you're ashing, and it's probably going to get you there. Um. Well. Welcome to get good. Welcome to get good. I'm playing One Piece again. Yeah. <laughs> I drew Cash Tier Unicorn. Everybody in Knoxville is playing One Piece. I hate it. I keep looking at the fixture Cedar posts, and everyone's just having a good time playing not Yu-Gi-Oh, and it just disgusts me. It's, yeah. It's because Yu-Gi-Oh is real bad right now. What are you talking about? Summon Unicorn. F. Oh, oh, the Ash Block. Oh, they affect Valor in my Unicorn. I'm going to summon this Snake Eye Ash and cook them. So what's your oh, they're cooked. What you tell me? Put them in an air fryer, boy. Damn, that's what <laughs> Unicorn does. Times haven't changed since people didn't enjoy the first time they summoned to catch your Unicorn. Now you're double not gonna enjoy it because we also have the Bell Star cards and Snake Eye cards. I did so, open Wanted in this hand. He also opened Wanted and a hand and and Snake Eye Ash and I play all the hand traps and, and cook them and, and embarrass one. them for mornering my Unicorn. It's great. I have Imperm Ghost Bill. Nibiru. That's fine. What are you gonna do to my Unicorn? You Nibiru it. I play voice with voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hold this. <laughs> These are gonna sit in my hand. Yeah, that's your turn. <laughs> we uh, three negates, baby. Me and PJ have been playing in hat format. It's been real fun. I've been working on my hat decks, my hat fun. collection. I love 2014. So, I played the most Yu-Gi-Oh probably when I was a kid. Was see, really I started playing in like late 2011 into 2012, but I would always play like off and on because. Yeah. Where I lived in uh, North Carolina, there was nowhere to go play cards. Uh, so whenever I would go to like L uh, Logan's house and stuff, that's where I would start to play. And I took a break in 20... It was right whenever Shadal's drop. It was, it was after 14. It was after 2015 Nats, right? Because you were at 2015 Nats. Well, what Nats was that? Uh, the like one that location. Burning Abyss Nashville. Won. Nashville. I'll... Was at that one. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, interacting with yeah. you there. Mm -hmm. So I never got to do you. Yeah. That's interesting. That's yeah. the first uh, yeah, memory I, of you that I, I have. Somebody else was with y'all too. I don't remember who it was, but somebody else who's not a... I did not know that. But yeah. Well, I mean, I had hair back then. <laughs> I was like se crazy. 17. He had, he had hair and like an off-white beanie. Yeah, I was 17. So I wish I were... Would remember that. I, <laughs> yeah, not. I, I was. 15. I recognized PJ for a long time. when I met you again, like post pandemic. I was like, damn, <laughs> they the PJ that I saw back in the day. Man, I'm grown up now. But yeah, um, I'm grown up too, though. Hat format, I never got to play slash enjoy, and it's always like one of those formats you just hear people like talk about. You're like, oh man, hat format, or like, yeah. oh, I hated hat format. I Traps. remember trying to get sanctums, bro, and I played Infernity as much as possible, but all I wanted to do was play a sanctum deck, but they were so expensive, I always find, I found every reason to not acquire the Moral Toxin sanctums, bro. Yeah, see, the first time I played sanctum, I was, never, I was going, I'd play sanctum. I'll summon a scythe. I'll summon a scythe. <laughs> Would you like to scoop? Yeah, back then you weren't even playing scythe, bro. You were just, I'll non-target pop. This is a present. I'm playing scythe. <laughs> I got locked out of my extra deck. In hindsight, <laughs> scythe is really good. Yeah. Scythe is really I'm good. Scythe. Especially I, in simple games too, against Evil Storm. <clears throat> that, was my f that was my first deck. That was my, like, when I started playing, like yeah. 2014, my first deck was Frog Monarchs. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, and it was like ten bucks, man. And then my like <laughs> first like first good deck was was hat. That's awesome. Um, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to remember when I first like got online. Like remember interacting <laughs> with you, Luke. I can't. It, I'm it was. Off, it goes far back, but I cannot pinpoint That's it. That's wild that we met. <laughs> I feel like I ran into you a time before that too. Somewhere between 2013 and 2015, just randomly one time at a I don't know if we went to like a North Carolina regional and you got drugged along somehow. Probably or, or, or an ARG. Now, also, I, would you just go to the ARG at Logan Top? Yeah. I vented that. Yeah, see. Seems, uh, I, I, that ran into you there. A judge, see, this is, okay, so, I was very terrible at the game. Somehow, <laughs> I won a Dragon Ball Regional. <laughs> Shout out Windups. Let's get it. <laughs> Shout out Shock Lock, actually. Shock Master but was how I also I pretty much, game like, think back on it now, I didn't know what I was doing. So, whenever I confidently say, I activated Eldritch Fusion in the damage step with confidence. <laughs> My opponent said I couldn't. I went, no, I definitely can. It's a quick play. And the judge that was watching me came over and went, yeah, you definitely can. So, fuse off. Attack. Some kid got finessed because, yeah. Aww. Yeah. And, like, I didn't think it was, like, wrong because I just it was bad. You were a kid yourself. Yeah, you know I mean? It was like, terrible. And I uh, come to find out about six years later... Logan and me's talking about the story, and he goes, "Yeah, you can't do that." By the way, I was like, well, "What do you mean? I was sick. I fused your damage step." He went, "Yeah, it's illegal." And I was like, "Oh, okay, no, that makes it works, bro." Sense. Yeah. <laughs> makes a lot more sense now. 
Um, yeah, that format was cool. The Duelist Alliance format was cool. I loved that whole era. That's I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, era. I wish I took the game more seriously back then. I had a lot of opportunities to like play, and like I had, I could have more than one deck, but I could have, I could acquire a deck. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I could play sure. it. So I don't know, man. Definitely should have should play more. I, like Burning Abyss is a deck I look back on, and like I had Burning Abyss so many times, never played it a single time, never understood why it was good, never like, like in hindsight, Burning Abyss seems like the, like if I could play a deck like that, I would play it all the time. Yeah. But unfortunately, I can't. Yeah, see, that's my thing. With, as as I've been building these, I've been like, if I was actually like decent, I would have been so good at this format. It's yeah. See, with uh, Burning Abyss, I never really got to play it. But whenever I wasn't playing uh, cards, I was, like, always in Xbox chats with, like, uh, Logan and stuff. And that was back whenever he, like, first started talking YCSs and stuff mm -hmm. with that Burning Abyss deck. And I'm like, bro, that's been, like, two years ago, bro. That's still good. He's like, it's the best deck. Never Why? stopped being good. Yeah, Never literally. stopped being good. Burning Abyss was one of those decks. I think it was, like, out of the time in Yu-Gi-Oh! where... It was way if, ahead of its time. If you understood why the deck was good, you were really good with the deck. Yeah. But I think a lot of people didn't understand why the deck was good. <laughs> There's a reason good players played the deck and could with yeah. it, and Dirtle Bob's... Uh, I don't even think Dirtle it was necessarily Bob. that hard to play. It's just that it was It was really hard to, like... Just get what you're supposed understand to Understand the concept. Get the game plan. Um, Burning Abyss and, like, Shadal was like... I don't, like, okay, so the first time I met Chris, for example, was whenever mm. everyone would get to, like, the McDonald's at yeah, Lil... Dude. Yeah, and, like, that's where everyone would play. And I'd be over here, like, I don't own cards, but I came with Logan. What's up? That was that was such a crazy era, dude. For real. There's a there's a McDonald's in our mall parking lot where CM Games is. Or, yeah. like, where it is where we play. Um, <laughs> that's where Goo Gaming started. It really is. Like, in that <laughs> McDonald's, it was crazy. The, uh, we used to go there every Sunday after, um, after the locals and just, like, play... I say play test, but we were all kind of bad. So just like like play games, playing forever. cards. Yeah, please play cards for like Slap three or four down. hours after locals. I used to love um, coming to doing that, by the way. But it was I, sick. I didn't you know, live in the area, but when Ruffy would come pick me up or whatever, yeah, dude, go Ruffy. down. I just sit at McDonald's looking at my phone, like the clock keeps ticking, and I'm yeah. nowhere so near fun. heading back to my crib. It was so fun, dude. And we were all like, me and Fox were like what 16, 17, 16, 17 years yeah. later. So it was like, kids, bro. it was, was so fun. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, and then we we transitioned to, to IHOP after a while, and see, I wasn't around for the IHOP days. Yeah, IHOP, IHOP and was the vibe. Now it's sushi. We do go get. Y'all was eating beat ups for a little while, weren't you? Like Thursdays. Yeah, we so were. we we still kind of do. Yeah, we stopped going to beat ups as much because there's just one annoying ass waiter. <laughs> but <laughs> when she went, she, in case you watch this, you switched to Applebee's and you're still just as annoying. <laughs> so just don't serve at our table, thank you. Um, Poor lady. So she, bro, she, she's bad. You know what's bad? My opponent's feelings after I triple hand trapped them and send this cash tier unicorn in solo. What are you doing bro. with the last card in your hand? I'm drawing for turn. Come on, one second. Mm. Uh, what are you doing with the last card in your hand? Um, I don't know. If it's just I nibbed and can't summon the unicorn. All no, right. I, it's here's how much we in. go to restaurants and eat after locals. Can, some rice heart? Some birch? Rise? Okay. <laughs> I'm interested all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, we have somebody at Cedar who is playing three Rise Hearts in Manadium, which is chaotic. What's the deal? Who is it? Zane. Zane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Zane, you got to leak this goo to me, bro. What's I was that like, about? I was like, explain. And he was, he sent me like a big paragraph explaining. Oh God, and I'm so like, he what? actually knows. Oh, he knows. He's like, no, this is like, this is what I'm he doing. Knows. Bubba. I'm like, this man's going crazy. He was, he's playing like Lebellions. He's playing, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, Luke, I'm, I'm leaking your, your goo, but it's like, it's great. He, his his, his deck is so much that I want to play. I was telling everybody, I want to play some bestials right now, bro. I want to be discarding Lebellion on a pick and yeah. picking my pick. Dude, it's crazy. That makes me happy that Zane's. Zane's getting Zane's a stud, bro. Zane's a stud, bro. Why don't you enjoy this format? What it comes down to is I hate formats where you have to play like 12 to 15 non injured Yeah, formats I hate are, it. Yeah. Oh, what, playing a million uh, non injured I, I love formats where you, the decks, it's not worth playing more than like six to nine non engine and you like have to play like 30 to 35 engine cards because it seems like those formats you get to play a lot more of the time like the decks are more consistent 
Um, and even if they're not more consistent, they're more grindy as opposed to just getting him trapped. You pass. Either oh, getting ash blossoms and veilers as the game's dragging out. Like I'm playing, I'm playing games, and it's like my opening five are hand traps, and then I top deck hand traps for the next two turns, and I lose. <laughs> like it's insane. <laughs> I was playing. I started playing Master Duel this last week, right? Yeah. That happened to me, but my first loss for 14 turns, I just drew hand, non-engine. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing Snake Eyes online. online. Huh? How are you alive? For I'm a beast, bro. With hand traps? Yeah. And Finner. Just... He's non-engine. Finner solos. <laughs> Finner solos. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a reason. I, I'm playing Finner in Voiceless now. I'm playing all He's the cast so good. cards because they're He's sick. so good. I think it's fine because you can also, like, not only does he count for, like, a nice body to get rid of, but he's also just a free ritual material. So, like, yep. it lets you keep, like, your Travis's in hand. Yep. And you can also send uh, low and make a Baron. I I think that I have solved how I enjoy that deck the most. I kind of hate that deck because I think it's really inconsistent, but I have kind of solved where I want to be with that deck right now, and it involves Fenrir's, fewer hand traps, and... Uh, Shaving brick cards. I'm also playing uh, a pot of extravagance. That's cool. Um, that sounds sick, actually. That card having I, cards. I think that card is way better than pot of uh, uh, prosperity. Oh yeah, that card should not be in this. Is deck it one of those just like volume carries, like just volume having a lot of well, cards to be able to swing with? Or when like, you can play more through, opportunities. There's more opportunities, and also you can play if you have like, you know, two or three engine cards. You can play through like five hand traps, but if you have one engine card, you can play through no hand traps. Yeah. So it's just weird how the deck works. And <coughs> if you have, if you draw in, if you start with two engine cards, you draw into a third, you can play through almost anything. And like that gives you more more chances to do that. Right. Um, and just more chances to unbreak your hand. But the extra deck doesn't matter as much. Like sometimes it matters, but I, you want more cards. Again, I was playing Cash <laughs> Unicorn this past weekend. Yeah. And let me tell you, uh, Unicorning the Voiceless deck feels a little weak. A little weak. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got the uh, Unicorn at Drytron deck. I looked at his extra deck and I was just like, "Oh, that's that's bro. What do I do, dude? Bro, we'll talk about what do we when we get to the, the talking about my regional experience. We'll talk about that Drytron deck. It was. Whew, yeah. I like Drytron deck. Yeah. Hey, bro. Beatrice is really you good. know. Yeah. You taught me a very good lesson the first time I ever played against you. What was it? You was uh, playing Eldritch. I like that deck. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that deck was nice. <laughs> So I win like every game, bro. I'm playing the Fox's board of five traps. Run it, and I have <laughs> Ultimate on board. I'm feeling confident. I have Eva. I have Head of Orange Light. So he starts just activating bitches. And I'm just Flip. Like, <laughs> I don't remember this, but <laughs> I'm just like negate, 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 negate. He activates his last, his second to last trap. It was a uh, Sanguine. I go. Negate. He goes, I had to make Psalm Strike. All these were on the same chain. <laughs> so my ultimates got destroyed. And all these resolved. <laughs> and so, yeah. Bro, pop Jeez. off. It was... Uh, mm. Go back. Mm. Strike's a hell of a card. Yeah, striking is... Strike's crazy. crazy. Um, Stop it. Stop. Bad effect. Die. <laughs> Rip your Literally. hand loop. Literally. Yeah, it's crazy. Going back and playing half format, it's crazy that we now have seven... Solemns in the format. Nobody plays warning, but you have warning. You're right. Plus we have scolding. Plus we have Iron Thunder. And basically, <laughs> Iron Thunder. <laughs> I heard so much about Iron Thunder this past weekend. I'm miserable. It's Here's insane. Card. People are playing that thing. Yeah. It's well, crazy. I didn't know that it was a counter trap. First of all, yeah. yeah. But someone was like, "Yeah, just uh, when you're playing as these decks, they were kind of talking to me how how to play around that card." Yeah. Bro, let me tell you, that card is it's good. Spooky. Like, it's good. If I'm trying to stop a card, play my stop in the same column as the card that they're activating so that I'm not getting Iron Thunder. Like, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. Right. Like, don't, like, Imperm column, right? Like, yeah. don't just put it in. It's the opposite the iron... of the Imperm column. You play into their column so that their stuff gets destroyed. Um, Cooking. Yeah. It, it's it's interesting. I think the card's good. When the card released, I was like, I think this card's going to be crazy. We but also have the Draco just needs this time. Aurora Strap. Was that from Pope? Yeah. I don't know what that one does. It's some kind of good drop. I remember being the slobber secret, but <laughs> that's all I remember. Yeah. Oh, um, goodness. Yeah, no, bro. The well, Speaking of counter traps. Wiretap. Wiretap. Oh, no. I'm thinking of a much scarier oh, counter trap. Debunk. I need those. <laughs> I have some German ones. 
That's so. Um, I didn't get the rundown of what, about what happened, but in our <laughs> since it's regional, <laughs> that I promise you, if you look that oh. word up, like in our chat, it hasn't came up more than twenty times. But the last two days has been there fifteen. <laughs> Tell me, basically, Explain. Logan's playing his Dinomorphia like oh, so lovely. He, he, he starts five zero. He picks up a draw. Or, yeah, it starts out 5 0, 5 0, something like that. Picks up a loss. 5 0, 1. All right, so he picks up a loss. And he picks up a loss against Dinomorphia, bro. Lovely. Put him next to bracket. This Dinomorphia deck, game one, like, hits him with the old, you know, Looky the, the Exodia that, that yeah. trap decks can do sometimes. Uh, and then game two, he's like playing, he's got like two Ash Blossoms. He's feeling pretty good about it, right? Yeah. Um, Ash Blossoms him. And then on his turn, he's got this backup Ash Blossom. And on his turn, that would be Ash Blossoms, his opponent, when he makes some pretty clean play. Opponent, confidence, too. You already know Logan. Oh, yeah. He said, I got it. Yeah. Old boy flips debunk on him, bro. <laughs> debunk the Ash Blossom, bro. He's like, flashback to Necroz. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. But, uh, dude, yeah, it's devastating. He That's had a very unfortunate wrong. tournament. Yeah. Logan was just, like, killing regionals, killing regionals, and then... This one, it wasn't his. I think he lost to. I don't think it was a Runic Stun deck, and then a Channel Morphia deck, and then like last round he got like Hand Trap, Hand Trap, Lightning Storm, Feather Duster, Starter. And yeah, like, <laughs> he, see, it sucks because like he's in the Rolls Race, so, like he has to like Play stick it. in there he has to, to make keep it grind it out it. exactly, yeah. bro. I know they too. And it was like a six-hour regional for him too. So it was like a long time. Started off, he just won last week and starts off really strong into it's like, oh, my brother, my brother. Tragedy, yeah. Tragedy is exactly that's, what we're gonna that's, call that's it. That's so just des- rough. Despian tragedy. Yeah. Shout out Trevor Comer. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so how does your turn experience go? All right. So again, I started playing Master Duel last week. It's amazing. So much fun. I built the Snake Eye Cash Tier deck because it seemed sweet. It was like the best deck. So I was like, run it. I'll play the best deck. They stole his money. <laughs> Bro, oh my God. I'll tell you about I, I've never. We'll got get to your it. games. We'll get to it. I got, I got. Uh, anyway, so I, um, I was like, these, like, summoning unicorns amazing. When you start with unicorn, they Valor it, and you just get to summon Ash. It feels, it's cross out, but it's also a dude. But also, if it resolves and you get birth, <clears throat> you get like. An extra deal at your inboard, it lets you force the synchro plays out more, right? So like, yeah, because you have you don't you don't have to open witch now, right? Yeah. Yeah, a, a bunch of free sevens is busted. Um, you know, like I, there's a lot of times where you can like heat a back of fire or re, like reborn an ash off princess and that plus a seven. So like, these cash tiers are actually useful. Yeah, uh, in multiples are pretty sweet because you can like stick finners and unicorns on the field. Uh, Birth is super great. There's a lot of games that I won where I got. Game super simplified from hand traps, and I'm just beating down with cash tier as well. like, Birth's secret effects gas. I didn't get to resolve it at the regional. That's unfortunate. Very That's most surprising. of the time when I resolved those cards, yeah. though, I won, or they would Mourner or Valor or Imperm the Unicorn right Thanks. off the bat. You know, that's, 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 right, exactly. So it's like, it's serving its purpose. I, most of the time when I could have birthed them, I just never got to birth. But that means Unicorn was a 2500 Cyber Dragon cross out. And when I say it like that, I'm, well, I'm about to play a third one. <laughs> uh, but you know it was cool. I played a Snake Mirror round one, round two. I'm playing a Labyrinth opponent. Right, Lovely. get to game three. Lovely. I do. I do the old. You can go first. I like to do oh, these Labyrinth yes, decks. Yes, same. Get that. Get that plus one. Um, my opponent. You know, we start playing through the turn on my turn, and we get to a point where I have three or four dudes face down off of a Karma Cannon. When he flips the Karma Cannon, he resolved a Stovey Torby discarding a Mudora. Right. Okay. I've got a Flamberg in my hand, so I'm trying to figure out a way to like play through this. I find out I can like Phoenix discard the Flamberg, set up Link Kriba first. Um, Phoenix discard Flamberg, and then when the Flamberg's triggering, when they go for the Mudora, I can Link Kriba trigger one of my face down guys, bring it back out. Oh, so yeah. And then I can Princess Princess yeah. go for the OT because I can put my guys back face up with the Atlantis. So I'm like feeling really good. I have the line I'm clean. Uh, same exactly what happens happens. He goes Mudora. I chain my link Rebo, put it on the field, shuffle my guys back. Whatever. After that resolves, he's like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and ba- flip, banish his backjack. So it's like a Yolo backjack, right? Banishes the backjack, mills a card. If it's a trap, they get to set it and they play this turn. Um, and they just mill Keldo. <laughs> so I've got a Phoenix there are three. on the field, a link Rebo on the field, three face down. My opponent's got all kinds of cards, all kinds of gas, and God. I am. Just getting cooked by this milled Keldo. So, yeah, I get smoked by this discard Mudora milled Keldo strategy. Yeah, that's raw. It, but it happens, and, I, and it was really funny. When he milled the Keldo, we were both giggling about it. Like, <laughs> like oh, I'm cooked. <laughs> like, yeah, just fucking, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to... But no, nah, this princess that's ain't nice doing nothing, it's bro. Insane. Hey, bro, thank you. Uh, round three, I defeat my opponent. Round four, I'm playing as a Fire King opponent. We end up getting, like, game three. I don't have any hand traps game three. He does full fire snake combo. Has, like, a handful of hand traps. So I was yeah. like, that doesn't work. Um, yeah. Played it out the rest of the tournament. 
playing against a Makenko duelist, learned a lot about those cards. Oh, um, I had ugh, scary, bro. I made a misplay at one point, and I was sitting there thinking, like, I have to like play like a machine to to get out of this. Played like a machine, got out of it, felt great about it. They had like literally every zone blocked. They had all their spell and traps, all their monsters, full of stuff. They stole two of my dudes, they stole one of my snake, I was a snatch shield. They have this one called Rondo. Yeah. And it steals as well. It's a collector's rare. See Cards are insane. Collector's rare. All the zones. I ended up doing a cool like get rid of your equip to get my dude back to be able to trigger that. Yeah, you know, Ash, whatever. Yeah. Super cool. I play as a dry tron opponent at some point. Uh game one, I go second, lose the roll. Quite literally get FTK'd by my opponent using Beatrice to copy Thunder Ruler and summon a more factor. <laughs> so it's getting, all, That's it's getting my turn. Yeah, bro. But like you can Beatrice roll back the Thunder Ruler. Like before people were doing like the Griffin line, which I thought was just so like curious Griffin. I was like, bro, that's butt, oh, bro. Yeah. That just ain't it. Um, um, go in there. Hey, Boogeyman. It seems like... Sorry, guys. You're good. All right. So, the Josh Ron player was cooking. Yeah, Josh Ron player was cooking. I ended up feeding, defeating them narrowly game three. Uh, okay. I was quite afraid of losing. Did not lose. Won a couple more. Played against old GGYGO. Playing oh, voiceless. Nice. Shout out. Um, game one, I just won because he got greedy playing into a nib. That's like literally it. Um, he went for the Dynamondo. Yeah, and like can't be doing that. I had like two cards in my hand, too, I think. So, like... You know, if he has it, he has it. But ended up winning from that. And then the next round, I played against... What did I play against the next round? Some dueling opponent. I don't even remember what I played, man. Feeling bad. I, I try to remember. I played I against, to block stuff I played out. a U-Bell deck at one point, which I was quite terrified about. I made some mistakes against them. Ultimately, I went to the regional last minute. To learn. You know, well, we really have a good time because my son's sorry to canceled. So oh, we, yeah, put, we, put, we played the deck I was playing on Master Duel that Monday, right? And uh, did a lot of learning, did a lot of like making mistakes, but feel really good about a lot of the choices I made. And I know that after the tournament, my deck would probably just look like what Andre Torres's deck looked like at Columbia. Yeah. I was like, I want more Cash Tiras. I didn't like Nib. I wanted to play Mourner or Ghost Ogre or Bell or you know more level three. T-. His deck was just what I want my deck to look like. So I I have a hot take that I don't think Nibs are that good right now. Yeah, it's uh. You know, there's some some games where you open the nib, man, and you feel like the absolute stud, and there's some games you hold the nib, and you're like, okay, this is getting this card for which. That's the kind of one thing I like about it, though, right? Like, for the deck that I'm playing, I'm... Peace. Goodbye, yeah. nib. Some of my yeah. witch effect, but it's also, like, a non bow with the cash tiras, and... With wanted engine, you can allow for that. You can play some disrespectful cards if you're, if you're playing an engine that just... You have to discard something. Yeah. I feel like playing, like, even leaves and stuff in decks like that, like... Yeah, yeah. Dis- I, disrespecting my opponents. Well, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> like, I played evenly the last regional I attended. Evenly's cool. Um, I don't know. I, I I'm not the biggest fan of Nip right now. My deck was wild for the last regional I played. Uh, or was that Greenville? Yeah, I main decked Ghost Bell because I was expecting there to be a lot of voices. Yeah, but it cooked a couple uh, Snake Out players because. They're never playing around in game one. And they didn't chain block a Parpolis, even though they could have every time. That's what literally game one, I play like I, yeah, I just try to chain block everything and yeah, play around every round. There's really no point like, not to play around stuff. And they're just like, activate it early in their turn because they're greedy and they want an extra card. And then they just lose <laughs> three to four bodies because I just go cook. Activate Ghost Bell. Plus, it's like really good, like in the uh, voiceless mirror. And I thought there was going to be like a lot of those. Like game one, vo- voiceless players just cooks. Um, I like the deck. I say I like the deck. I just like grinding with my opponent, and like I, with Snake Eye, you don't really get to grind. It's either you get hand trapped to death or you hand trapped to death. And uh, formats like that is why I am playing One Piece right now. Yeah, I I'm pulling my deck out. I like the deck, but so I really like. That it grinds. I don't think that it grinds enough. I think that it is a grind deck, but I don't think that this current version of it can grind enough because if they out radiance, your grind stops. Yeah. Um. I do think that next for next um, set after we can recycle radiance and like actually grind, I think the deck gets a lot like better. Oh, same. I think it does its job better, which just makes it a significantly better option. Um. And I think that once the deck gets a little bit more solved, like, I don't think the deck's solved at all right now. I think that I... 
think people I are think, just too scared to venture out with it. Yeah, I agree. And I think that I uh, have been playing around with it a little bit to, like, try and solve it at least for, like, my tastes. Yeah. Um, but I think that, yeah, once we get the new card that, like, lets you grind more and once the deck gets a little bit more, like, you know, figured out, I think it'll be really good. But I'm not a fan right this second, um, personally. I just don't think it's good enough. But once the Snake Eye stuff gets hit, once hopefully that takes more hand traps out of the format. I think once once Snake Eye gets hit, I think this the 15, 16 hand trap format hopefully dies. Might, might die off a little bit. I hope so. Um, so I think this deck will be a, a little bit better of an option then. Because um, you can play more engine. And we don't have more engine, but you can play more like cards to get to engine. Um, Bro, which I like. Or like supplementary engines, which I like. I just miss playing like 9 to 12 hand traps. Same. Well, like, I like, I think a max of nine is where I'm comfortable. Um, like, currently in my deck, I'm playing nine hand traps. Yeah. Um, I'm playing Ash, Imperm, and Valor. Uh, I think that those are, pers personally, I think they're the best three hand traps right now. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, they're also the best in this deck. Uh, level one tuner, very relevant. Level three tuner, very relevant. Um, yeah. And so, uh, it just, even if you don't use them as hand traps. Um, so I'm playing these three. I, I'm currently playing Talents uh, and Fenrir. Fenrir and also helps you make Baron, which is nice. It helps you make Baron. Um, it's just a literal free uh, ritual fodder. Yeah. Um, and it's also... Uh, so I'm playing one for one. Um, I think that everyone should play one for one. I think that card is gas. Um, I think that it makes your deck more consistent and it helps you play through hand traps better. Um, and I think that if you're playing... One for one, obviously playing Fender is really good. Yeah, because uh, it's free. Also, what I've done a lot is even if I don't uh, one for one out low, I one for one out Valor, um, and that's really good. Um, one for one out Valor and just syncing with it. Uh, you can even go like Fenrir, and in later games, this is a grind deck, you can have like low, low, one for one out Valor, make Baron. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Um. But that's where I think this deck is, like, more of a utility deck. Bro, I I just love Low so much as a card just because, like, yeah. it can bring itself back for free. Low's really good. Like, it's so nice because it lets you, like, for example, like, you link off the Low. If I could link to you Ritual Summon, you bring the Low back. Yep. Like, I think whenever people stop just, like, playing it as a pure just uh, uh, Ritual deck, I'm going to... Sit them on the gate that's you can't target because I like have yeah. the towers because of my spells and they start like uh venturing out. People won't, won't understand like how many bodies the deck can actually generate. Plus, like g getting trap card turn one and you using it turn one <clears throat> is yeah. like insane. And, and then like having it turn your opponent's turn to pop if you have like the uh, like a way to uh set up more bridge monsters because like I summoned. I summoned Skull Guardian twice, and my low guard moved twice, and I was still able to make a uh, Donna Mondo. And then he drew from my low, but I was able to make it to where I had a low in Graveyard to bring back. It, it's just so many ways to get to cards in this deck, it's ridiculous. It's also cool. Because Skull Guardian is insane. He can search low. It's also, there's so many ways to get to cards that you wouldn't expect to be able to get to in this deck. Like, I, the other day I was playing against somebody after Locals. We, like, went out to eat and we were playing. And I, um, Diviner, sent Diviner, uh, low place trap. And then I summoned a Saphira, um, made Baron before I did my combo. Mm -hmm. And then I, um, <clears throat> ritualed. Uh, I ritualed, I think I one for one out the low, um, placed the trap. And then I ritualed, um, Summoned low back from grave. Then I had Baron before I like ritual the ritual low trap, and I think I had spell in hand, and it was just like insane. Yeah. And you can do like so much like just cool stuff like that with this deck. Um, there's so many ways to get to Baron, and there's so many ways to get to other like I think Isaiah was telling me the other day that after like the next format, he is playing like a combo that get, like Dispater Baron um, Skull yeah. Guardian turn one. It's crazy. Yeah. In voiceless. In voiceless. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah. The deck puts out the a ton. There's Diviner? Um, Diviner. I was There's saying. Diviner Sephiroth. I was saying while you were gone, I won for one Baylor. Uh, I think that's kind of gas. Um, what level is this Pater? 10? 10. Yeah, it takes a dark. It takes dragon, non tuner. So. Yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of uh, ways to get to 10s. Soravis plus uh, 
Some tuner can do it too, I guess. Uh, so. There's a god clock. Diviner, yeah, I want to play the deck because of Diviner. And, you know, after the regional, I, I don't know. I think my take on that deck is that it is sweet when it is doing what it does. Mm-hmm. But I it's never not. in my life do I want to be holding those cards and not be doing the in- impressive stuff. And there's a lot of games where I'll be playing against that deck and my opponent is just spinning their wheels. Yeah. Or they'll do a bunch of scary stuff in on like a neg one negate and pass. Yeah, see, I'm like, the, bro, this deck is we not for... Okay, so I switched from Snake out of this deck. And like with Snake out, bro, your cards are so good yeah. that you're allowed to make mistakes. Oh, yeah, I like forgiving decks. You cannot make mistakes <laughs> with this deck, bro. Or you're you're just so behind because you're already happening to play yep. so far. Like mm-hmm. it's already an uphill struggle. Um, and like going second with this deck is not fun. That's why I'm playing Finner. Yeah, legitimately. And like you, like <laughs> for those of you who didn't know the unfortunate things that happened at Green Bull, I assume you talked about them. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so Luke stepped beside me, and he we stepped beside each other in round one. <laughs> he yeah. uh watched me open my game to a hand of five hand traps and pass to my snake eye opponent. Sure did. <laughs> um. Oh, I, I opened the same thing because I leaned over and I said, "Hey, PJ, check this hand out." <laughs> and then I go, "My opponent." I was going first. I was like, "Check this hand out." And PJ looks, and then my opponent's just like looking at me, like, "Why are you showing this dude your hand?" And I set him to the side, and I go pass <laughs> and he's like ah okay <laughs> yeah, it was unfortunate um so yeah we had about the same experience well, what i described round one he had the exact same experience um, <laughs> yeah uh i said two people behind yeah yep um that ain't me bro that ain't me it was rough uh i do think that hopefully after the ban list this format gets more bearable i do i think that the decks in this format are cool I think that the way the format is structured is cool, but I don't think that the like the skeleton of the format, which is like the non-engine and um, kind of ratios of decks that's been, that are being played right now, I don't think that's cool. I think the, the um, dynamics are really weird because like yeah. you have like so like my initial look at it right is like your main game, your main format are the fire decks, yeah, yeah, and then everything else underneath it. But be, like the last time we had a a game like that, I feel like Tier Element was the first, like, or the last, like, big gap separator, right? This mm-hmm. deck is just yeah. significantly better than the other ones. But, like, the Snake Eye versus the rest of the room gap is not nearly as big as that deck was. Right? It, so, people, like, people, I, like, the regional, so, listen to people still talk, call it a Tier Zero format, even though, bro, like, everything can compete. Like, well, I think the only difference is, like, the card that are really good against the Snake deck and, like, the deck building really against the Snake deck is not necessarily good against the, you know, like, yeah, I think that the, which reason, I don't think it adds up very well. I think the reason the Snake deck is, Better than everything is just the redundancy of the cards can Actually, always get you to everything regardless. You can do almost. anything, bro. You can play through it all, bro. Literally. Like every, I feel like every other deck is better, but the Snake Eye deck is so much more resilient that it just is inherently better than all. I the described the, the deck as cockroaches a long time ago. It is. You're not wrong. It I, is. Dude, the more that I play yeah. the deck, the more I'm like, these are a bunch of cockroaches that uh, you cannot squish, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's just, my opponent, the game opened five hand traps. He won because he dropped out his scent flame bird, bro. That's the yep. only way he won. Droplets and say. Hey, let me tell you, I'd be discarding Flamberg. He Flamber. didn't even get anything that was relevant. <laughs> it was I, just... I, 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 I'd already used my beer in the game. It could have been Cheerful Cough and discard one. Yeah, he went, oh, <laughs> okay. Droplet, pitch. I was like... Cooked. Yeah, good yeah. luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm hoping for the new format. Um, I guess... I wish I got to play this one a little more. I wish I uh, had participated in more events. We've been talking about how we hate this format. Let's talk about what we think of... The current, the upcoming event and format. Uh, I've heard like some discussion on whether people think we're going to have a ban list before Raleigh. Uh, some people are in the camp of yes, like a week before, and some people are in the camp of they'll do it like right after. Um, I kind of think Konami's going to be chaotic and do it a week before, to be honest. Yeah, th- um, th- not unheard of. Honestly, I would like for to see a singles YCS in North America with this format. Yeah, I, especially it's like the Vegas format when we had it. And the format That's now are fresh. just different yeah. worlds, yeah. right? Completely different games, different formats. And I'd like to see the people who like have weathered the storm since then yeah. to like be able to get like reap the fruits of all their work, right? Like because the, the best players are going, consistently doing well for a reason, right? Well, yeah, this and, is a good format. And if you like look at it, they're all going to these out of country mm-hmm. watch because we don't have any. Incredible, exactly, and, bro. And, and exactly, winning, yeah. bro. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Yeah, we need to have we need to have more singles wise yet. Like last year, th- at this time in the U.S., we went to like three YCSs back to back to back, and we haven't had one in months. Facebook memories are popping off right now. We we haven't had a singles YCS in the U.S. in last year. 
It was last year, but how long ago? October, it, Indy, right? No, Richmond, week Richmond. after. Richmond. So, so it was first, like, of November, first of November. First yeah. of November, First of November was the last time we had a, a singles YCS in the U.S. It's insane. Yeah, I need some of that in my life. I, you oh. know, uh, we keep talking about it, and I imagine if we had a, a some type of cash circuit, you know? Yeah. Excuse me, like the, you know, ARGs or whatever were. Yeah. In this time period, right? Imagine if there yeah. was like two they or three of those just so standing insane. in between. I, you know, back in the day when those were like popping off, I couldn't really afford to like travel, compete. I couldn't mm-hmm. afford to go to events that I wasn't like enjoying the event. And or I really now, didn't, like, every weekend, bro. Every I would literally, weekend. I would make a point to schedule around yeah. going to these things, yeah. right? Like I would, yeah, I'll travel, yeah, I'll drive, whatever. Like I'm doing it for nothing anyway, and I would continue doing it for nothing, right? I, I love spending ten plus hours in a car over a day for a win a mat. I would do it every weekend. I would play nine rounds for a win a mat and set every dollar on fire. But I'm down with it. The, so, like, if uh, I play for money, imagine how down everybody else would be. Dude. I mean, <laughs> the ones that ain't crazy. Did, did you guys see Jim actually post about that? Yeah, recently? I did. I did. Yeah. I was like, bro, don't tease us, bro. Yeah. Just, it was such a tease. Oh, I, I know. What if he does? Well, I think right now, you know, all of us who were into that stuff back in the day are grown now. And all the kids who were playing, like, all the, you know, the young dudes. I got cheddar, too. They got money to blow, apparently. The economy's crazy. If you, if you want anything but a house, <laughs> you can get it, baby. Literally. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be crazy. I uh, I don't know. I, I do hope that they wait for the ban list um, and then release it in between. Uh, Give us a Philly. Yeah. Philly it again, bro. Yeah. Be so cool. That would be insane. Another thing, though, is we that get the insane. new set right after, so it's like, I kind of want to see how the new set, like, you know, melds with what the current format is. But also, imagine if they just give us a band list and then give us a new set. Hey, guys, here's a brand I, new everything. I think that, that that's how they should do it. I don't... I think that it would be a little bit scummy to release the new set, let us buy the cards, and then immediately and hit after hit everything. Yeah, so I, I think that's kind of bad. I think it w- I would be more inclined to get stuff from the new set if my Snake Eye that got hit at the YCS, too. Yeah, same. Like, I would be, same. okay, I'll head into a sneak peek after, <coughs> after a night. How would you guys feel if Konami, like, announced what's on the ban list? Before the YCS? Just, okay. The w- YCS is cancel or whatever, okay. You hear about what's going to be banned by months in advance, or like what's going to be li- li- uh, limited uh, in like let's say like two months. I think it may be miserable. I think you know how many people at the, right now say just wait for the reprint, wait for the ban list, wait for this. You mean how many people just would yeah. be playing Yu-Gi-Oh because it would well, I'm just going to wait two months for that. That's fair, and I, I don't know. I like, was asking if that's how uh, One Piece does their hits. Yeah, and so like, for example, June twenty first, one of like the best leaders in this like current set is getting hit. Yeah, yeah, it's getting the axe getting banned. Well, and there's they they have two regionals before that, and then one regional like right after a week after. Yeah, I I think that the difference and the reason that they can do that is because One Piece is way cheaper than Yu Gi Oh. Um, even if like the specific card that's getting hit is not cheap, um, like the decks that build around them are way cheaper. Um, and it's just like even the chase cards in One Piece will retain value even if the deck gets hit. Yeah. And like in Yu-Gi-Oh, if they let's say that they announced like at the start of like last month, or let's say they announced at Vegas that uh, Black Witch was gonna get banned the weekend after uh, Raleigh. They're all gone. Like it would be. Yeah. By the time Raleigh comes around, it would be a dollar. Right. right? Like, it's just okay. like, and Watching like the whole bottom out would as... just be gone. Well, see, yeah. So like, for example, the leader went from being like a hundred dollar leader. Now it's sitting around like 50 bucks. That's yeah. fair. But what's also weird is uh, why beer, for example, it was like $80. It gets hit. The car goes up like 150. <laughs> it's insane, bro. And then it gets unbanned. It's insane. <laughs> like, it, it's just like. I think that that's why I like like I love Yu Gi Oh. Obviously, it's my main game. I play it literally every day of my life. But I love that's that why I love hearing that. that's why I like buying other card games more than Yu Gi Oh. I have so much White Schwartz stuff. Like I have, I was, I'm getting the Knoxville guys into White Schwartz. I'm like, oh, I hate it, bro. No, <laughs> Rudy has but, picked up four regional top eights, and he's about to start not because you're gonna wise brain wise him. He already plays well. I know, but if but, he's got a reason to play it, play it. Um, it's gonna get bad. Anyway. Uh, don't do it, Rudy. So stay in. Oh, he's he's going to the regional with me the next month. Anyway, uh, but whatever. I was like counting my hoppers. decks the other day, and I've got like 
15 like built decks and it's just like it's so cheap and it's fun and um, then you retain the value and they retain value um not even not just retain like ex exponentially Bro, the appreciation of those cards is just like I think of money laundering when I hear about some of the prices of them cards. But I know it ain't. I know it's weed pockets, but Alex, weed pockets are big. Alex bought a structure deck yesterday. Yeah. Pulled a four hundred dollar card out of the structure deck. I, I had a guy. He came in at a magic event. He's like, "Yeah, I literally bought one wide structure deck one time, and this is the only card I got." I was like, "I don't know what that means, but tell me." <laughs> he explains and shows yeah. me the. It's hey, insane. Like, see the scribble on it. That means it's a bajillion dollars. Insane. Literally. Um, Weiss, like the the struct the format structure, uh, it, like. You get prize cards for regionals. Yeah, the the first place prize card at a regional usually sells for like six to ten thousand dollars, like what? a lot of money. Um, for top three or four at regionals get a yeah that top three or four at regionals get worlds invites. First place gets a paid for worlds invite. It's Which, literally like nats. Granted, their their regionals are the same as you go regionals, just like one piece regionals aren't. But it's still insane. Yeah, it, it's nuts, dude. Um, it's nuts. Uh, it, it's fun. And, and like, I don't know that like got off on that tangent because of like the price thing. Like, I think that just because Yu-Gi-Oh is so expensive, that's why they couldn't do that. Uh, I think like Weiss doesn't do that, but they do like, you kind of know what's going to get hit. Um, for the longest time until like year before last, we didn't have a ban list. There was not an English ban list. Oh, wow. Um, and they started banning cards. <coughs> now they'll like put out bans and like it goes into effect this day and stuff doesn't lose value. Like it literally stays the same price. Yeah. It's insane. So the reason I even <clears throat> brought it up to begin with is because like it could help with like, like you said, you, you're buying these cards for this event, it's banned the next week. Yeah. It's just. Which granted, like I say. One piece isn't have isn't having regionals like Yu Gi Oh is, but in June there's like three. Yeah, so like it. Uh, hopefully it grows. I hope so, man. I, I hope that that's the Bandai game that lives. Um, that would be sick. <laughs> the Bandai game that lives. I walked back in at the right time. Yeah. Never, Luke. They're not gonna live. None of the rest of them have. I, I mean, <laughs> none. They just keep on um, making new ones. <laughs> yeah, I hope it is. It's all the same guys playing too. That's the crazy part. <laughs> It really is, though. <laughs> How I know. <laughs> same communities are going to the same kind of, you know. I think it's cool, though. Um, no, you don't. You hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Yu-Gi-Oh! only. Fox is a Yu-Gi-Oh! elitist. I am literally a Yu-Gi-Oh! goblin. Hey, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! every day, dude, but sometimes you need a break. And I think that... Says who? Dude. What is moderation? I need a break. What is it? <laughs> Weak. Let me tell uh, something else too. I just want to duel. <laughs> something else too that I think helps, it, especially newer players that haven't played card games for the last fifteen years like us, um, is learning different mechanics of games. Like you for so for example, like I was talking uh, convoluted. I've been playing wise with people. Um, it's all about resource management and like doing math to see how many cards are in your deck, where cards are at in your deck and on the field, and then like your your uh, your like cost payout. And that translates to Yu-Gi-Oh very well. I feel like that's like um, one of those like things that Pokemon people don't talk about is how yeah. much like like every time I played Pokemon, I was just tr made a point to try to stay super aware of like what I like yeah. what is in this pile, what is in this pile, what is in this pile, yeah. right? Like where are we at, guys? Where are we at? Because this is all matters. Yeah. And, and you go do the same thing. You're all the time, I'm sitting there like there's games I'll play against my opponents where I'll just start negating the wrong stuff because. Well, I used two of that card turn one, so... <laughs> like, yeah. like, it, like Unchained was a deck I did that against a lot, too. Like, it's something that newer players don't think about, but once they learn a game that is like, <coughs> exacerbates that thing, it's like, why well, it's all about resource stuff. Yeah. So it's like, they play it for a while, and then they start, like, you know, not thinking, but applying it to Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's, like, such a big part of what they've been doing. I think that's really useful um, I think for other definitely, games. The def every card game, bro. Just yeah. giving a... I used to give a, a guy who would try card games here and there. Like, I'll spend a few months here and a few months there in a game. Yeah. But that's what I got the most out of that, is yeah. just looking at card games through a different lens, coming back to your game, fresh yeah. set of eyes, and saying, okay, like, I could I could play the game differently. I just, not just activate my cards and put up my negates and passes. There's a lot of, like, actual technicality that comes to it. I play Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I play a different card game. I'm like... I learned the hardest card game to start out with. <laughs> yeah. well, so my problem, too, right? I'll start playing another card game. I'm like, this is lame. I'm going to play Duel Monsters. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not thinking hard enough. <laughs> like, I don't have a headache yet. That's that's the thing that specifically interests me about One Piece and Wise, that they are not boring compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. That's good. Um, they're 
they're not fast in the same way that Yu-Gi-Oh is, but they're very interactive in other ways. I went to, I went to look at some old Force Will videos from like you know the heyday of Force Will, mm-hmm. like twenty fourteen or whatever. Game too. Okay, so I to play it's that. really funny because I remember back in the day being like thinking the gameplay was so fun, it was so good. I love watching it, I love playing it, whatever, bro. It is like watching paint dry now. And I'm like, bro, what did Yu-Gi-Oh do to me? Like, well, this used to be such a good, like, glorious, like, well, balance of, you know. Used to be almost faster than Yu-Gi-Oh because that game dropped like started Duelist Alliance format, I think. Like, right that, that's about when it yeah. came out. It came like, out the, the April-ish of yeah. 2014. Yeah, 2014, 2015, and that we were in like a we we're in trap formats or like single yeah. mo- like normal summon you, normal summon you motto slam kaiser set bottomless trap hole so it was like a, riveting gameplay at that point <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. it was like <laughs> <laughs> what'd you uh, lose to oh i yeah i got ophion my stupid dragon <laughs> tell me deck, about it, right bro. like um, oh no no yeah no. <laughs> it's it's uh Nah, the, uh, games are fun to, to try out. Games are but, fun, yeah. And I, I, I'm i a hater, I'm a goblin. That's just like a character. Have fun. Do things you like to do. But why uh, PFL? Um, yeah, we also we are going to give away a drag box. We're going to do it in the next podcast. Um, <laughs> Cigar. That's what I'm saying. I like Throw that. that up. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do the next podcast. Uh, we still have both of them. I'm going to be shipping that other one this week. So uh, All these boxes, bro. Yeah, Goodness it, gracious. Bro, if you won that, um, message Goo Gaming on any platform. Um, and I'll also remind you in the YouTube comments. But message us on any platform. Um, anything you guys want to talk about? Bro, how awesome it is summoning cash to your unicorn. In my like, that's, I'm obsessed with it. Master Duel also, back to that, man. So the story that I left out earlier, I'm not a gamer. I don't believe in spending money on weird stuff. I buy my dual monster cards. I buy my <laughs> kids' toys. You know, I'm a simple man. Down in Master Duel, <laughs> I start cracking packs, and I got my free sword soul deck. I was feeling good about it. I had oh. some random staples. I had, like, one of hand traps. But I was like, I need, I need a man up if I'm going to do this. Look at some hand traps, baby. They're just enchanting everything that I got in the collection, using my gems up, whatever. I'm like, how much does it cost? Let's entertain the idea of spending some money on some whatever. So I go look at the little store. They got this deal. It's been like 30 bucks after everything said and done for like 3,000 gems. I was like, it's a lot of boosty packs. Okay. <laughs> if I could go buy 30 something packks for $35, yeah, okay, run it. Run it. That's like a, that's like a damn yes, bogo sale. Yes, so I, I buy the packs and I start cracking them. And boy, let me tell you. The good feeling started rolling. I get a wanted. Oh, geez. I get a witch. I get a flamberg. You know, I'm, I'm getting Bro, some heat, right? Like, I'm looking at the grip and I'm like, man, that was like, I remember paying like 50, 60 bucks for those. I remember paying $25 for those. That's I spent 30 bucks. I was basically buyless, bro. <laughs> so, you know, I'm over here riding the, it's basically buyless high. I need more cards. I look and I, it's, it's a three time offer and it's limited and. You know, I, I can throw another 30 bucks. What's 30 bucks? It's, it's in the Yu-Gi-Oh! fun. I go buy some singles. Go, <laughs> it's I, a I'll Yu-Gi-Oh! invest fun. in my little phone game. Whatever. Run it back. Oh, boils. Packs were even better. Dang, oh, they were even better. But, but I, so I start got him for at 60. At 60. So I'm feeling good. I'm crafting my stuff. And then I learned about the bundles. Well, there's apparently you can Jeez. get a staple. 10 boosty packs. Oh, that's wrong. For 750 gems. 10 boosties is 1,000 gems. So I'm like... I, you're telling me I just crafted three nibs and I could have just bought a nib and ten packs for less than what ten packs cost? Where's the credit card? Back. So I go back. I run it back. I put another thirty into it, boy. I'm at ninety. That one came out of a different. That didn't come out of the dueling money. That came out of the damn. How you know what I'm saying? Hope the lady card. don't see. What's this <laughs> iTunes? Fa- anyway, I spend another thirty bucks, bro. I get my little Nibiru pack. Disenchant the other one that I crafted like a fool. Lose twenty dust whatever get my little ash whatever i finish up my hand traps get all the stuff i'm feeling good i just need a hand i like called buys and a couple extra cards but i can function and i look yeah. at it and i'm like i just spent 90 dollars you got how you give it in 25 minutes <laughs> <laughs> never in my life i did a micro transaction bro and konami just ran my pockets three times bro and then uh, we're getting ready i got the regional this week and i'm feeling good i've been fun. throwing down that friday bro they released bonfire and volcanics, and I just finished crafting the last of my Fenris and stuff, bro. And I was like, FDK? Well, 90 URs. If I get this, I can already craft one bonfire. Let's look at the deals. What's, what's another $10? What's another $10? Uh, I have three bonfires. It only cost me $10, but at a whopping $100. Don't tell my I'm wife. Ron. I am a master duelist. Don't tell my but, wife. And I went X2 at the regional. So maybe but that was a lie. That's true. Hey, let me tell you, I was on a win streak. I was riding that too. I was just crushing, bro. You do crush it. And then I'd make like 
making some dumb mistakes like savage effect okay chain link karibo tribute the ash that i have to resolve and turn off my savage dragon i hate <laughs> like, the just no negates off of it the prompts are pretty bad <laughs> Um, game. I'm over here. Like, I got like 11 seconds to finish my combo, enter battle phase, and kill them with Link Rebo constantly prompting. I'm like, got my finger over one spot. I'm, you know, over yeah. here tapping and hitting cancel the second it pops up. Yeah. Oh, but it feels nice. And then I'm at the region. But like the cool thing about it was I got to like get comfortable with my engine. Yeah. Right. You know, I, it's obviously playing a different format. I'm maxing the crap out of people. I'm getting maxed like crazy. But like, you know how your card. It's just a brain exercise when you get maxed. Right. Like, okay, what do I need to do here? Right. Like, and a lot of times it's just get temple. Play temple, cook. Yeah. Summon, summon unicorn, effect, Valor. I'm going to max C you. Why did you activate max C? Whatever. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, it cooks, bro. I love it. But yeah, I got Konami. Mr. Konami took all my money. Um, so, I have no regrets. Stephen, not the first time. No, it says, but I can sell these. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, True. True. This is still money. I set $100 on these fire. These are assets. <laughs> yes. Assets. Assets. Um... Yeah, we've all been had by mobile games at one point or another. I it took me twenty six years to get had by them. I like, have never spent a single dollar <laughs> on Master Duel. But I oh no, they also got my ass on Master. Hey, bro, Duel. but I've got I've been be getting gems. If I didn't spend a hundred dollars, I could be grinding that. I could just play that Sword Soul deck as far as I've gone. Right, like. But would you have enjoyed it? As hey, much, not as much. No. Exactly. I love cooking. I love making mistakes. And so the thing too is, I can Dirtle Bob on my phone and pick up the pieces, figure it out, and I'm good, bro. Yeah, I, I do. I do like Master Duel in doses. Master no, I'm good. a fiend. I'm gonna play it while I'm driving on the way home. <laughs> I, don't I, know. No, I would never. I will no, actually let Maverick drive. Yeah. And he'll play Boogie it Man, how you feel about <laughs> practicing for your driver's license? I no, uh, officer. I'm busy. <laughs> I haven't loaded into Master Duel in about seven months. The last time I did, I just loaded in. Like, what about free shit I got? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. They keep giving you free stuff. I went from like. I was opening a bunch of packs, going crazy, and you know now I'm like, okay, I need to chill out, just rack up some gems. When I decided I want to play another deck, I don't play Super Heavy Samurai, but like, bro, I literally just put the Snake Eye deck. I just got finessed. You I need to get my money's worth. I just, <laughs> but also, I couldn't spend a hundred dollars. Don't lose the money because you can de-enchant those to craft something. Else. That's true. So it's like thirty-three dollars. Yeah, because <laughs> you get a third one. But no, you see this right here in my hand. Yeah, this is what I bought on my ma entire deck. This whole deck cost me this. It's what a bonfire is it like that? and a wanted. That's how I got finessed. Or is it two bonfires? It's a bonfire and a wanted. Bonfire I assume it's like, like 90 bucks, right? Maybe not. I don't know. They've gone down a lot. Cross the chain, yeah. I don't care. I'm going to keep them forever. I like them. I already sold mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is quick. I got mine on my body. No, I'm all about the fire decks, bro. I want I, even pressure planets. If Oh. You know, sometimes I'll do a call out looking for a card. He all pressure planets. That's not the pressure planet I need, y'all. I can find that. Oh, never mind. I own two ultra oh. rare European cash tier unicorns. And I want to play a third. However, I, all I own is a tin one. It's American brand. You might as well just play two ultras. Well, that's what I. That's why I'm, I only played two this weekend. That's uh. So who has got one? Who wants to do a tradey trade? Holler at your boy. While we're on that topic, I've been putting my <laughs> uh, 2014 deck together, uh -huh. and I kind of want to just like run into the street because <laughs> I have two super Italian uh, Mermelios. Uh -huh. And really I have nice one gold me. English one. I had three of those. I traded so, them. I think I was trading Everybody has two. a super Italian. Zach Parrott, I think, got them from me. That's crazy. Straight up. I think he might still have Italian super. Because I mean, it's got a two C's that. in its name. I don't know what it is, but it's got two C's. And it's really cool because they're it side is. by side. You know what I'm saying? Like CC something. Yeah. I So <laughs> I prefer Portuguese cards. Fun fact. I think Portuguese um, cards are so sick. I yeah. wish I could have more. I like Spanish cards a lot, but which most people don't. But at the last know. YCS that wasn't Vegas, I think Richmond, I saw yep. two Portuguese super Romelios in a, in a binder um, at like gamer's choice or something uh -huh. um and i was like please be three please and i pulled it out and it was two and i was like i already have two italian ones i can't get bottom, two bro. two, two bottom, bro no um we're double mermelio gang we just always open it we just play all the ones no, so he, we open it I open Dino. yeah he every um, game he opens that one every game yeah. um yeah sick blister at work dude i uh attacked my finger and lost the fingernail uh that's, that's my first time seeing that in person it looks a lot Better than it used to. Yeah, because I'm a healing machine. I'm Wolverine, bro. Yeah. Well, y'all, yeah. Well, yeah. boys, um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, or do you guys want to wrap this up? I love dueling. I need a unicorn. These I have, guys are great. I have One Piece Regional June 8th. I might be streaming. Come support. I don't think I'll yeah. be in another event until Nats, but at Nats, look out for me. 
Yeah, oh, but... I'm looking for Spanish Platinum Secret Rare cards if anyone's looking to swap. We're talking about that. I just got the idea. I didn't know I wanted those till just now. I like um, Platinums. He does like Platinums. He has his whole deck Platinum. Yes, every card that can be Platinum. It, like, I'm about to build a Sweet Infernity deck with Tour Guides and Cherubinis and stuff, and I'm using Platinums of all those. That's oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah. Very looking forward to it. I, uh, we will be at YCS Raleigh. Um, also YCS Indianapolis. Um, check us there. Um, I'll be playing at a Weiss event in between now and then. Good I may that. be in Peoria on the second Peoria One Piece Regional. Where's Peoria? Illinois. Illinois. Okay. Yeah, I've ne- I never heard of it until I looked on the website <coughs> and said there's regional there. And I went, well, I want to go to play One Piece. So. Yeah, I mean, run it. <laughs> run it. But for now, I'm just playing webcam. That's good. I picked up a webcam to play remote duels, and I have not taken it out of the box. I've had it for like a month and a half. So, fun fact. Like 30 bucks. <laughs> they started their event at... 9 or 10 a.m. Saturday. Honest. Through Discord, through Best Coast pairings. Okay. Right. 10 rounds of Swiss. Okay. It's no, it's a good day one. No top cut. Okay. And it was done by 6.30 p.m. How long are rounds in there? 30 minutes or something? 35 minutes. Okay. That's the one. That's how they do it. Yeah. It was, nice. it, it was insane. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. uh, granted, there was like one really huge mistake. Round one, there was a br- repair like 18 minutes into the round <laughs> no, because no. people's Discord was logging them out or they couldn't even log on Discord. Oh, my gosh. So people that have already won round one got a repair and had to play again. And some people lost round one, then won, won, then lost. Was it like a nine rounder that became 10 with that or was it no. a 10 round that became an 11 rounder with that? It was oh, a 10, 10 and a half rounder. It was 10 round that came a 10 and a half. <laughs> There was a there was a thousand and twenty two and a half players. rounds of Swiss cut to <laughs> yeah it's insane. There was a thousand twenty four players. I need one of y'all to get crazy and start a Yu Gi Oh circuit too, for real. That's what yeah, that would be sick. Uh, everyone, you boys will pull up. Will yeah, we'll pull up every time. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, guys, our hoodie sale is over. But you missed out. Yeah, you missed out. Unfortunately, a uh, little tangent before we actually leave. Um. I've been telling people, posting in the chat, posting in like, you know, all of our socials, yeah. telling people. I've like mentioned it to like our guys, like, hey, if you want like, you know, the discounted hoodies, let me know. Um, it was like 10 hours after the sale ends. Okay. So the sale ended um, that, and we got them discounted. That's why we discounted them, right? So like 10 hours after we stopped getting them discounted, Noba Ciso texts me. <laughs> yep, I know exactly what you're about to say. Hey, hey man, I need two day. hoodies. I was like, why didn't you tell me that 10 hours ago? Why didn't you tell me that the entire last month? I was at work and they were talking about it. Like, yeah, and apparently y'all had a sale on them. And I've been trying to buy one. And I was like, oh, Lord, okay. Like, oh, oh, we did. <laughs> yeah, I told you about it last week, remember? I'm like, yeah, no, I said you get it. But <laughs> no, I didn't get it. <laughs> but, yeah. It, it, uh, April Fool's. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, we our sale's over, but um, we're going to have, not this one, I shrunk the Goop Frog a little bit, um, this is just like the test one, but he'll be a little smaller than that, uh, but we have Goo, Goo uh, Tank Top going up, um, they're tank pretty top, sick. Tank Top, Auto Top. Yeah, th- tank new top, Tank Tops are going top. up, uh, check those out. Um, we're Can I model s- that one? What's up? Can I be the model for that sure. one? Sure. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> we're going to have some sick... Sick other stuff going up. Oh. Catch us at YCS Raleigh. Um, I've already told <laughs> at least PJ um, about the design. Some some people about the design. The design for our Raleigh shirts are going to be sick. Yeah. The Vegas one was um, sick, so I'm excited to see it. Yeah, the, the, the design for the Raleigh one is going to be sick, so you guys are definitely going to want to listen to the podcast before then and check out how to get that shirt. Um, but you'll be getting it for free at YCS Raleigh. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, shout out our sponsors, CM Games, Dueling Guard. Uh, thank you all I for everything. And... Uh, We'll see you guys next week. You have to read your hand. And we're all Don't wait till the teacher's done talking. <laughs> yes, sir. And then when you all have turns, I'll tell you about my favorite when all of you get turns. Okay. <coughs> What's your favorite? All right. So, we're turning in Duel and your favorite Destiny. My favorite tournament, Duel and Destiny. <clears throat> probably was at YCS Philadelphia, the very last round. So it's a pretty fresh one. But I was on this quest to top another YCS, and I really wanted to like, break that bubble. Oh, and I remember going into the last round. Ra- <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Go ahead, Luke. Put him up. I'm last. You're last. Yeah. Raise your, what do you want to raise your hands? My son's waiting. Okay. Anyone can go first or last. Okay. What's, okay. Your, what's your favorite terminal in Destiny? I can't even can hear it. Can be something name. that have, hasn't happened yeah, yeah. yet? Ah. Because mine would be whenever. Destiny. Exactly. Destiny. So in, in the future. Absolutely. Me and Lone Kite are going to duel it out on national stage. Oh. Yeah. Splinter? Yeah, I would yeah, be careful. Last I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> beating Aaron Levy in the finals to no, secure a regional win. Woo! That's a pretty good one. You're the guardian of all tournaments. All right, who's the, that's definitely you. I'm the guardian of yeah. all tournaments. You're definitely the guardian. You all got the answer wrong. Oh no! <laughs> that's crazy. The, the, the answer of tournaments. The answer to the, the, the guardian of, of tournament goals, it's this, and I know it. What is it? What is it? The secret one I ne- I keep a secret to everyone, but you guys should tell your moms and dads. Okay. <laughs> okay. And your sons and, and your sons and daughters. Okay. I'm almost kids. Is getting ev- all the kind of blue light you did in every day. And getting all the kind of croc monsters. All the crocodiles. So the other day we were going through looking at every single alligator yeah, card that exists. Ocean. Bro, there's so many alligator cards. And Spawn almost, alligator, lion alligator. Alligator Daniel. swordsman. Al- that's where we started with alligator swordsman. There's alligator <laughs> mech or mech alligator. Hey, boogeyman. My favorite is the alligator with the sword. Alligator, alligator sword. sword. That's, that's that boogeyman. Hey, you want to go ahead back over to the office? I like Rude Kaiser. Rude Kaiser. Is I, he? I, I think he's an alligator. Me, he's rude if he. Well, I leave. Definitely an alligator. We gotta start pushing these out, Tim. Was this supposed to be unplugged? Uh, I don't know. Is it the one? It's one of them. Yeah. Okay. He says it's a maze. <laughs> That was fun. That was comedy. I love my boy. <laughs> hey, kind of, whatever you were talking, you said, and on top of the boss, hush, it's not happening. Hush. <laughs> just made me shut you down. I was on this quest to top another one. Nope. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, dad. I've heard this story. <laughs> whatever. He's talking about top and wise. Yes, it's like, man. this is my bedtime story. Come on. Right. <laughs> All right, boogie man. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, it's always <laughs> these three. <laughs> now four. It did? Okay. okay. How much are those lights? Because I need to get one for my room. You making adult films? No, I'm going to start playing webcam regionals for One Piece. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, run it. So, you know how... Okay. So, apparently they're really hard to get into. Like, bots bought oh. them. Can you resell tickets? So, no secondary market I didn't it. think you could, but... <laughs> you can. As I was speeding through typing in my information, I may have misspelled some things. <laughs> 